Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Hearing, Learning, and Loving. In our scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, where the Apostle Paul writes, Even though I'm a free man with no master, I have become a slave to all people to bring many to Christ. When I was with the Jews, I lived like a Jew to bring the Jews to Christ. When I was with those who follow the Jewish law, I too lived under that law. Even though I am not subject to the law, I did this so I could bring to Christ those who are under the law. When I am with the Gentiles who do not follow the Jewish law, I too live apart from that law so I can bring them to Christ. But I do not ignore the law of God. I obey the law of Christ. When I am with those who are weak, I share their weakness, for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. The why of Apostle Paul's living a somewhat chameleon-like life, blending in with every sort of different person, nationality, or social status, was his learned ability to love. It was so important to Paul to treat others with an open, loving heart, He virtually gave himself to others so that he would have the opportunity to introduce them to Christ. Paul had changed. He was no longer a fire-breathing zealot on a crusade to destroy everything related to Jesus Christ. In place of the old Saul, there was now the new loving Paul, who would literally give his life to bring others to Christ. Why the shift? Jesus confronted Paul in the middle of his Holocaust work of destroying the church and taught him to love because he was loved. In the process, Paul couldn't get enough of loving others. Real Christianity is contagious. Finding common ground with others is how you learn to love the unlovable. You cannot do that when you're unwilling to hear others with a receptive ear that helps you learn who they are underneath, in their being, and understanding what wakes them up in the middle of the night with the cold sweats. If you're serious about sharing the love of Christ, that someone else might know Christ and find eternal life, you cannot engage in screaming matches or massive campaigns to exclude people from your life. In short, You just can't be afraid of others who are different. You must hear them and understand them so you can love them. There's an old idea that just doesn't ring true for me anymore, that dogs will chase cats because dogs hate cats. (laughs) Well, my daughter's pets did not get that memo. Boomer, the huge mastiff, has gotten quite used to Carrie's feline borders, Smith & Wesson. In the picture, you see just how close a 100-pound mastiff can relate to a 7-pound kitty that he could have had for lunch. It wasn't always that way. Whenever Boomer came into a room, Wesson used to run for the nearest place the hound couldn't reach. Little by little, that changed. Now they even play together. Somewhere along the line, they began hearing each other out, listening and learning and now loving. Boomer is still a dog, a big, drooling mess of a mush, incapable of not being loved. Wesson is still a mischievous feline, climbing on anything high, jumping off anything dangerously placed, and squeezing in any tight spot, especially if there's a slight trace of food to be had. Neither of them have changed species, but now they play together and they're both the better for it. For you today, learn Paul, Boomer, and Wesson's lessons. Listen, learn, love, and play nice. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.